welcome back to another video. It's Misty with Kids to Cradles Nursery. Welcome back, Cradle Crew, and welcome if you are new here. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a silicone video with both of my babies that are in my collection. Now, just some things that I wanna discuss while doing a details video on this baby boy and doing a changing on this one because I found a really cute outfit for him that matches his brother. So these two babies are in my personal collection. This one is the real born Darren. He was actually, this is the first um, silicone kit that I had ever done. The first one is with Auntie Catherine and she named her baby Callan. And so this baby has a twin out there that I did first. And then I decided to keep this little one for myself because I've always wanted this kit in silicone. This Real Born Darren uh, kit originally came in vinyl and now it's in silicone. And I've always been in love with vinyl Darren. I've had him in my collection many times. I've made tons of him um, for my store that have been adopted out. I've made so many versions of this baby. I just love this baby. So I'm really happy to finally have this baby in silicone and I made him myself. So that's really special to me because I never thought I could do silicone and I love the way that my babies have turned out in silicone so far. I can't wait to see what the future holds. And everybody's been asking me to do a details video on him. So I'm gonna do a details video and show him off. I also need to do a little name reveal. So this baby's name is Caden River. I was trying to find another C name to match with his twin brother, Callan. So we have Callan and Caden. And I really liked Caden because this baby is a full body silicone in my collection who I bought from another artist before I became a silicone artist. And I just fell in love with this sculpt and it was the Brady sculpt. And I wanted to find a name that was very close to Brady so that I would remember his sculpt name because I've had a lot of babies in my collection in the past. So I came up with the name Brayden. So we have Brayden and Caden, which I'm just now realizing is very similar in name. Also, I was looking at these boys in the crib next to each other and I realized they look very similar. Like their facial expressions are very similar, different, they can definitely pass as brothers. I must just love the way this baby's shape of his face is. That's all I can think of. This baby, his mouth does not have a tongue and his mouth doesn't open up all the way, but he can take a cut pacifier and this baby can take a full pacifier. So there are definite differences. Um, this one is a full body silicone. This one is my partial silicone. And I will show them both off to you. Like I said, I'm gonna do details on him and I'm gonna do a changing on this guy. So I do have this sweet baby wrapped up in these new swaddles that I'm absolutely loving. They're like bamboo swaddles. And I'm really loving these for my silicone babies. I fell in love when Auntie Shirley sent me a blue one from Kate Quinn. I had never used one before. And I actually have one of the babies in my crib um, I have two partial silicone babies still available on my website. Baby Bean is wrapped in the one that Auntie Shirley sent. And I have a cute pink one that I got for baby Callie that's in the crib and she has a cute matching headband with hers but um all of my babies have these cute bamboo wraps but I really love the way that these feel and when you wrap baby up this like forms a little pocket if you tuck the end in here and you can put their little passy in it so little baby Darren he uses a cut pacifier so I have like a modified passy and he uses that So this little boy, he has a mouth that is partially open. It's not super deep, that's why. And I think this sweet little baby in real life has just the tiniest, cutest little mouth anyway. So you can kind of see his tongue and you can definitely see all the details of the roof of his mouth um, when you open up his little mouth. It's just not super deep. It's like it can take a fingertip 
with him. Like he can take part of a bottle. It just doesn't go super, super deep because this is a 3D scan of a real baby. So it just wasn't created that way. Whereas when you have a sculpting artist who sculpts the baby out of clay, they can make the mouth as shallow or as deep as they want. So there's that. Like I said, my babies are bald right now. I don't have time to root him, but this little baby will have blonde hair because that's how I always see this baby. So I will be doing some rooted hair on this baby when I have the time to do it. So right now he's just um, got this cute little hat on. But if you ask me, the Darren sculpt looks really cute bald anyway. I think he looks beautiful either bald or with some pretty sparse uh, blonde hair, some light blonde hair. So I don't know. I keep going back and forth and debating whether I want to do um, hair on him or not because I love being able to put little hats on him. He looks so cute in these little hats. So I'm just not quite sure where I want to go with him. Um, he's matted so well. I love the gloss on his lips. I love the little tears in his eyes. His little lashes came out cute. I gave him some blonde and brown eyelashes. Um, I'm going to unwrap him and show off his cute coming home outfit. While I was shopping for baby Sage, I was shopping uh, for an outfit for both of my boys. I wanted them both to have cute little outfits. And I almost kind of found matching outfits. They're different, but they're sort of matching. So, so this little outfit says so happy on it. Look at his little fingers. Um, one thing I did notice with Silicone Darren is that his hands are open and I believe on the vinyl Darren, both of them are little fists. So they did have his hands open when they did the silicone, which I love because I love playing with his little fingers. It's so realistic to like see him. He could probably suck his thumb. Oh my gosh. I never realized that. I bet you he could suck his thumb. How much you want to bet? Oh, almost. We can play with it and see. Oh, I bet you his thumb, his thumb fits in there. Oh, I never noticed that. Look at that. He can suck on his little thumb. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Okay. More cuteness to this sculpt. <laughs> um, yes, I will be doing another Darren shortly. Everyone seems to really love this baby. Um, I will probably put another one on my table shortly because I do have another little Darren kit. Um, I do want to do a touch up on this little boy's toe though. I want to add a little bit more color to the tip of his toe and I'm noticing a little shine there. So I will probably dot a little more color on his foot. But I love the way that his little feet turned out. I love his little nails and his hands. Everything turned out so perfect on this baby. I love his little creases. I love his mottling. I love how his veining turned out. Everything is super cute. His matting turned out adorable. I also love that this baby is kind of like a little butter ball. Even the vinyl sculpt of Darren is like a little butter ball. Um, he can curl up so cute. I love how when I'm changing him that his arms tend to flat back. I love that I can put his arms back and just kind of like let him do his thing when I'm posing him for um, photos and stuff. So these little pants, they say loved, hugger, wild, cuddle buddy, and they have this cute little koala bear on it. And the other outfit has little panda bears on it, so it's slightly different, but they seem to have um, the same basic colors in these outfits. Also, this one comes with a little hoodie. Look at this little koala hoodie. <laughs> this is so cute. I didn't want to put him in this little hoodie with the little ears because I knew I was going to do his details videos with you guys, but he is such a sweet baby. Um, these babies have full limbs, these little partial silicone babies. They're made exactly like our uh, reborn babies, only... They, they have the cloth bodies and they have the full limbs. It's just their limbs are silicone. So imagine your 
vinyl baby just being all silicone. That's basically what a partial silicone is. And he is so sweet. Another partial silicone baby um, I've been really interested in is Peaches. I feel like that would be such a cute, chunky baby. I'm really interested in doing partial um, silicone peaches. I love how posable this baby is. You can put his little arm um, over here for photos or you can put his other one behind his head. He just so sweet. I love how his little legs curl up just like the Levi sculpt. I absolutely love that. He's more curled up right now because I've had him swaddled and I've had him all like nice and tightly swaddled up like a little bundle, like a little butterball. But um, his little legs will stretch back out, no problem. Um, I'm gonna probably put his little pants back on him and we're gonna get his brother all ready. So I've got this little cutie over here and he's all wrapped up in this cute little blanket that was also sent um, by Auntie Shirley a while ago. And I have him in this sweet little outfit. It's super cold in my house right now. It's been raining a lot lately and it just gets really kind of chilly in my house and he feels cold, like his silicone feels cold. So I love having him in this cute little um, short sleeved romper and I love seeing his little feet, but um, I do keep him all protected and wrapped up in a, si a soft little wrap. Like I said, I'm gonna try to find like a nice like green colored one. I wanna find a soft green one to wrap him in. I think that will be so cute for him. And um, I'm gonna get him changed out of this outfit, but uh, he takes full pacifiers. This is actually a super soothie. Uh, three to 18 months and this boy even though he has a tongue inside his mouth you can see his little tongue he can take a pretty good size pacifier I usually use newborn size ones by Ryan and Rose on him um, they're a little bit shorter they're not quite as long so I'm gonna use this one for him but this one just matched his outfit and it was really cute there's not a huge difference in the nipples between the 3 to 18 months and the newborn size ones but if I can I try to stick with the smaller ones so while I'm changing him we're gonna do a little chat because this is something I've noticed lately that's been making me absolutely crazy um something I've noticed <laughs> and you know that I'm all about educating new collectors and new artists and stuff on my channel it's just that's kind of what I started doing on my channel ever since I first started YouTube so um I've noticed this and I've noticed it mostly on Facebook and it makes me crazy this is why I hate um, being on Facebook. It's super cringy thing to do. I really hate it when I see people do this. I've had people do that to me and honestly, I block them and delete them because I just think it's so rude and it's like if you're going to be that rude, I'm, I don't want you like anywhere near my social media. So, um, but I've watched it mostly on Facebook and I seem to always see it there. I don't know why. Probably because that's where a lot of us sell. So a lot of us go and advertise our babies on the Facebook groups. Um, I guess I am going to take this short sleeve onesie off of him because this outfit already comes with a little onesie. I'm going to take his little hat off and you're going to see his little baldy head that I just fell in love with. He has his big bald head. I was a baldy baby, so I fell so super in love with this baby. He looks like my little bald head itself when I was born. So, um, on to the subject. <laughs> uh, I hate talking about this stuff on my channel, but it makes me crazy. It's cringy and I just don't want people to do it. So I'm here to educate. So, um, yeah, whatever. I'm going to say it. So I really hate seeing when artists are on Facebook advertising babies and somebody puts in the comment section, you guys, it's so super cringy and it's rude. I can't say that enough. Um, that baby, that doll is too expensive. And I hate it when they say that. I feel like being so stinking rude back and being like, well, I'm sorry you can't afford it. <laughs> 
but I know that a lot of people can't afford these babies. I can't afford these babies. There's been a, a point in time that I know I can't, but I would never go on somebody else's page where they're advertising their babies or on a group, especially on a group. Oh my gosh, how rude in front of everybody and be like, that doll is too expensive. Um, and a lot of times, honestly, the babies that they do that on are the silicone babies. Um, but honestly, um, the babies that I've seen this commented the most on are the silicone babies, which I get like people see those dolls from China and see how cheap those are. And then they don't understand why a lot of the silicones are so expensive. And I will say a lot of times there are, I'm not going to lie, it goes both ways. There are some artists out there that do really jack up the price of their babies just because of their name. Um, you know, they've gotten a, quite a following and their prices go up pretty high. But on the particular babies that I've seen this on, um, these people were actually asking below what I thought their babies were worth. And um, it was actually a steal of a deal and I couldn't believe people were saying that because I know as an artist what goes into creating them. I know the kind of money that you spend. Like just know that a full body kit like this before it's even being painted, just the kit, the blank kit is $2,000. Like I've been looking at full body silicone kits and I can't even invest in one because they're so expensive for the full bodies. I can't even invest in one in order to paint it. And I don't trust myself with customs just yet. I don't feel comfortable with that. And I don't want to do customs. And especially being new at silicone, I don't want to do them. But um, it's hard for me just to invest in a kit because it's so expensive. So if somebody's asking only like $2,500 for a silicone baby painted, even if it's bald. But especially like this one had hair. It had a full head of hair. And I know that just the hair for that baby alone was $200. And then the 100 hours it takes to paint a baby, the 100 hours that it takes to root a baby, that's 200 hours, you know, like that that person invested. And silicone, you're also painting with silicone. So the paint that you're pigmenting is silicone. I'll explain that in a whole nother video. But just the silicone, so for the silicone to paint the baby, is expensive too <laughs> so I really I just think it's the rudest thing for somebody to come along and knock the price that an artist feels that their work is worth it's like move on like why do you have to say anything if that's not the baby for you if you don't feel like it's worth it to you um, even if you have the money, you may not feel like it's worth it to spend that kind of money on a doll. That's okay. That's up to each individual person to decide. Um, you might have plenty of money. You might have all the money in the world and you might just be like, nope, I'm not spending that kind of money on a doll. That's, that's totally fine. Um, everybody has a different comfort level when it comes to their collection. I know that I wasn't in that kind of comfort level when I first started with Reborn Dolls. Um, my, even a $250 doll to me was too much. It was too pricey. It was too much for a doll. Like I was willing to buy Paradise Galleries dolls and, um, Ashton Drake dolls because they were only like $100 and up. And even I thought those were crazy, like expensive. So when you first start, your comfort level is very different it changes through the years. Once you're in it for eight to 10 years and you start investing in your um, babies a little bit more, you start trading out babies in your collection and kind of stepping up in your collection, you might sell a couple of um, beginner dolls and, and then buy one really nice doll, you know, for your collection. I know that that's how I grew my collection is I would buy some um, starter dolls and I would have like three or four of those. And then I would, I ended up selling those dolls to get a higher end baby from another artist that was more pricey. Um, Cause I decided I'd rather have one really super hyper realistic baby or two 
and instead of four lower end babies, you know. So it all just depends on where you want your collection to go to me, um, what your comfort level is. But super rude to do that, to, to put down um, the amount of work and time and money that an artist invested in a silicone doll that artist probably put forth at least $2,500 for the doll just for the materials. So if they were selling the doll for $2,500, they weren't making anything off of it. Literally just making enough money to um, make back their materials because things have been slow. And if they put the baby at $2,800, they're making like maybe $300 for their time. And if they put 200 hours into it, they're making like a buck fifty an hour, you know. I don't know about you, but only making a buck fifty for my time and energy um, per hour on a doll doesn't seem like a whole heck of a lot. Um, you're making a dollar fifty an hour, basically, <laughs> and that's so sad to me. I'm trying to figure out how far up I want to fold his little hat, like. Where do I want this to cover your little head? See what I mean? This is why you can't do hats on babies with hair because you will pull all their hair out. Oh, he's so sweet in this little outfit. Oh, he's so sweet. I'm gonna um, give him a little matching pacifier. I have this little Ryan and Rose one. I like these passies that have the hole in the middle so you can put your finger in there, kind of determine how far in to go with the passy. Oh, he's so cute. So this is our fit today. We're matching our brother. Let me get brother on here too. All right, so we have these two little matching boys. We have brothers Brayden and Caden looking all cute in their little fits today. I might find a cute little pair of booties or socks to go on this little guy, but both of my babies wear like smaller newborn um, Carter's size clothes. So they can share clothes as long as they're like the smaller newborn size. Super cute. This little guy, he has a little bit longer legs than Darren. His are like short and chunky little legs and feet. I love his little feet. Super adorable. I love both of these boys. So cute. I am looking for a little girl at some point, just not right now. Um, can't wait to add a little girl to the silicone baby collection. Like I said, I would love to have peaches, but I have peaches in vinyl. So I'm kind of on the lookout. There's a couple of kits that I've been eyeing. I hope you guys enjoyed this sweet little video and seeing both of these cute little babies and their cute little fits and their little bear hats. <laughs> They're both just so adorable and sweet. I'm really enjoying them. I hope you all have had a wonderful weekend. I hope you guys are enjoying your babies. I know I have been bonding with these two quite a bit. Um, they're very different from each other, but some of the things are kind of the same, I'm noticing. So, um, I hope you guys have an amazing week. I will see you on the next video. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of those cute little squishy babies. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.